This is a demo of the Tiny Media Character Big System. Okay, so now let's just do a quick demo of how the rig system works for Blown Apart. This is our new rig system that I just uh, recently finished, actually. So there's still a few things that I'm working out and perfecting, uh, but I can show you at least how the controller works and how uh, the setup works. So uh, Napoleon characters are, like I said, 2D flat characters built in grease pencil, uh, assembled out of a, a group of grease pencil objects. The grease pencil objects all have time offset modifiers on them. So if I just spin one of my settings here, so let's say I, I do my body, I can just spin the character around as a turnaround, like that. Uh, this is all driven by custom properties that exist on the bones, and then I have a the add-on is doing some extra magic to just make it a little bit easier to work with. So that's how uh, things get started. So let me just set him back to zero. And there we go. Now, as you noticed, some of the uh, elements on the character, like his arms are actually offsetting while uh, the turnaround is happening. So there's a, a, an edit system for that. Uh, I could actually just demo that quickly. So you, you just come in here, you hit edit. And now in this mode, now you can edit uh, the position. So let's say uh, on his shoulder, I want his shoulder to be higher, right? And then I would just leave editing mode. And then if I, for whatever reason, put the character on that pose, right? On three, his arm is up. On two, it's down. I don't want any head offset. Up and down. Okay. So I can just undo that quickly. And just make sure my character looks right. Great. Okay. Uh, next up, I can show some of the uh, hand and arm. So first off, the eyes. Just have a little, you know, uh, aim controller like normal. Because it is a 3D world, uh, and I want to sometimes put the character's hands behind and in front of him, we have this system of little plus and minus buttons. So if I grab his arm here, and let's say I just stick his arm behind his body, and then I nudge it all the way forward, now his hand is in front. Uh, the hands also have some simple buttons, one to just nudge his hand in front and behind, one to flip his hand, and then obviously you can pick which hand you're using, and that's really fun. Another thing is that I have an IK uh, switcher. So, well, first you can flip which direction the IK is uh, sticking, and then I can also switch that to FK mode so that I can actually just have a bit more control. And then I can always switch it back. And there we go. And that's on obviously all of the bones, uh, including the feet. All right, so you, just, you can just squash him sort of down on the ground, and he will, it, all that sort of fun stuff works. And uh, you have similar settings with the feet, so I can mirror which foot is which. I can, I have the ability to set them back and forth if I needed to. On this character, it doesn't really work because of his uh, coat is there. But for example, if I put him on a different pose, like it looks like there's a mistake here on one of these poses, one of these legs should be behind, and I believe it's that one. So in theory, I can just more easily control the position of everything. Uh, that leg should be flipped. There we go. And now he's looking a lot better in this direction. And that's sort of what we, what uh, essentially these controllers are for. This setup is really specific to how I want to work, but maybe uh, this is good for other cutout people. I'm not sure. So you can just take some inspiration from how I've set this up. And, uh, and based on your comments, like I said earlier, we'll, we'll find some way to make some piece of this public. And that's the entire demo. So thanks so much for watching all the way till the end and definitely check out Blown Apart.